instructions on what to do. How many times have we felt like we were in exile and we wanted the Lord to speak to us? So in verse 7, he tells us what to do. He says, seek the welfare of the city to which I have caused you to go into exile and to pray the Lord on its behalf, pray to the Lord, and your welfare is bound up in its welfare. Our welfare is bound up in our community, our Orlando family church. We need to pray for the welfare of our community, our city, our state, our nation, and at this time, specifically, the things that are going on in the nation and the weather, uh, the shootings in California. The Lord is greater than what we see because we know that He is greater. If we pray for the things that God cares about, He will take care of the things we care about. If we want to prosper as our soul prospers, God's kingdom needs to prosper. So in verse 10, it tells us what he has in store for us. For here's what the Lord says, After Babylon's 70 years are over, I will remember you and fulfill my good promise to you by bringing you back to this place. After our captivity is over, the Lord is going to fulfill his good promise to us. Remember that none is good but God. Jesus is the one that told us that. So what is this good promise? That is there our teaching for today. Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13, hope in a future. For I know what plans I have in mind for you, says the Lord. Plans for well-being, not for bad things, so that you can have hope in a future. When you call to me and pray to me, I will listen to you. When you seek me, you will find me, provided you seek me wholeheartedly, and I will let you find me, says the Lord. He has plans for our well-being. The word in Hebrew is shalom, and it doesn't just mean peace. Wholeness, contentment, health and healing, prosperity and completeness. Five, grace. Because in shalom we are complete, and in him, in Jesus, all things are being completed. No matter what has happened in the past, the time has come for a new beginning. The bad, or the Hebrew word raw, is over. The specific things that were bad that happened are over. Here comes the good. He wants us to have hope. In Hebrew, the word is tikva, and that is a hope, a specific hope, and a future, which is achari. You've heard Joe Ty teaching about it, Pastor Joe. Some translations say expected end. Who's expected end? God's expected end. Because he could give us anything, always more than we could ever hope for or imagine or believe. The Hebrew word is achari. And one of the ways that you can think about it is if you think about an alcoholic that is laying in the gutter somewhere, it's not a good thought, but that that person can look back all the way to when he took his first drink. And also he can see when he takes his first drink, he can see to the future when it's going to overtake him. Akhari is seeing the end from the beginning, the beginning from the end, looking in the rearview mirror and seeing back and looking in the windshield, which is bigger and seeing forward. God sees it all because he transcends time. He says that we call on him and pray to him, he will listen to us. Isn't it wonderful that we have somebody to listen to us and our needs when we call out to him? Amen. As we bring our offerings to him today, we worship and we make our needs known to him. He knows before we even ask, but we still need to ask. He says that we, when we seek him, we will find him if we seek him with all our heart. He will allow himself to be found by him. One of the best things about God's promises is they find their yea and amen in Jesus. Amen. 2 Corinthians 1.20 For however many promises God has made, they all find their yes in connection with him. That is why it is through him that we say the amen when we give God the glory. Let's not forget if God promises something, he delivers. Numbers 23, 19, and 20 God is not a human who lies or a mortar who changes his mind. When he says something, he will do it. When he makes a promise, he will fulfill it. Look, I am ordered to bless. When he blesses, I can't reverse. So our future is complete. Shalom in the Lord. He has provided for us, and he will deliver. Amen? Amen.